20th of September. Mr. Speaker, I support part two amendments to the House. Ian Lees Galloway. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Well, I'd like to pick up on a number of the issues raised uh, by the member Alfred Naro in, in his uh, previous contribution, uh, because I think he's, he has raised some important issues uh, that the House needs to consider and the House needs to debate. Uh, so, so, first of all, first of all, he um, he raised the fact that there were a number of changes in personnel. Uh, at the select committee, and that there was that there was a number of controversial issues that was considered by the select committee at, at length, uh, and and he's absolutely right. These matters are controversial, and that is why the Committee of the Whole House is asking for some explanations around some of the issues, because what I have not heard yet, either from Mr Naro or from uh, the couple of other of his colleagues who have managed to get to their feet and speak, um, or from anybody else for that matter, is some explanations around some of the controversial matters uh, that Alfred Naro referred to. And it's true that there are members um, that, who represented the Labour Party on that committee who have actually now left the House. They've, they've, you know, they are no longer here for us to actually um, ask them what, they, uh, what, what their view was. And uh, so, so it's actually, you know, this is, this is the place, this is the time where we get the opportunity to consider um, all those matters. And what I want to know, what I really, really want to know is, and not a single member from, uh, who was on that committee, not a single member of the National Party who was on that committee, nor uh, the, the minister, either the minister in charge of this bill, nor the minister who's currently occupying the chair, not one of them has explained at what point in the select committee process was the decision made to uh, remove the legislative requirement for voter identification cards. That, that, is the, that is one issue that I am really interested in, and as Alfred Naro raised in his previous contribution, that was one of the controversial issues where there may have appeared to have been consensus at the select committee, but there certainly is no longer a consensus around that and all we're asking for over on this side of the House is an explanation. Where did that idea to get rid of the voter identification cards come from? And the reason why I'm asking that is because there is an extraordinary coincidence going on right now. And look, coincidence does happen. It's a big world, and so I, I, I accept that coincidence can happen. But what is extremely coincidental is that right now, in Canada, the Conservative Party in Canada is pushing through a Fair Elections Act, which is incredibly analogous to what the National Party has, is doing with this legislation. They've gone quiet, haven't they? That, that, that's, isn't it strange that Conservative parties around the world are using the so-called Fair Election Changes to suppress democracy? because that's actually what it's about. The changes they're making in Canada are around the use of voter identification cards. It's that similar. It's that similar, and, the use, and they are suppressing the use of voter identification cards to make it harder for voters to identify themselves at the polling booth. And they, in exactly the same way that the National Party is doing here in New Zealand. It is a mighty coincidence and one has to wonder what Prosby Texter's role has been in, in uh, bringing these sorts of changes forward. Because, because it is, you know, they're even using the same arguments over in Canada that there is widespread uh, potential for voter fraud. However, there is also in Canada absolutely no... Well, well Mr. 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 Chairman, I appreciate that this is part two, but I am simply responding to the contribution made by Alfred Nara. Now, what the government has managed to do in part two is they have managed to get consensus around some of the administrivia that's in part two. That's not exactly a high bar. Well done, National. You've got consensus around that. But what they haven't managed to get consensus on is the bill as a whole. And what they haven't been able to answer, either in part one or in part two, is the question, where did these ideas come from? Where did these ideas come from? That's, that's what we want to know. And nobody has been able to answer that question. And I, sir, just find it remarkably coincidental 
coincidental that at a time that the Conservative government in Canada is pushing through exactly the kinds of changes that have been made to this bill, that, that this legislation, which was introduced before then, got changed, Mr Chairman. Mr Chairman, this legislation, Mr Chairman... Holly Walker. Jeez, apologies to my colleague, uh, but I also would like to um, take a call on part two to address some of...